Let's talk about the bottom line. The two biggest questions I get usually are, how do I invert? I've made a few videos on that. And the second one is, my bottom arm, what do I do with the bottom arm? Just, my bottom arm's not working, what do I do with my bottom arm? Ah! I'm gonna help you right now. Because this question was asked so much, a few years ago I asked elite athletes in Reno, what do they think about the bottom arm? And you can watch this video here, or here. It, I can never remember where it pops up. But I'll explain it again in a different way just in case you don't like that video. The way I see it is the top arm is the engine and does 90% of the work. Its job is to keep power in the pole vault system. It also controls the macro movements, the big movements. The bottom arm on the other hand boop, boop, is the steering wheel. It does roughly 10% of the work. Its job is to guide the power that is in the pole vault system and it does the micro movements, the little itty bitty movements. You cannot power a car with a steering wheel. I'll say it again, you cannot power a car with a steering wheel. Now there are a lot of steering wheels out there, many different shapes and sizes, but there are a lot of bottom arm steering wheels too. There's the no left arm, there's the elbow out. There's the elbow in. There's the huge bottom arm. There's some kind of weird combo of all of them. Boopka did a few different ones in his career. The point I'm trying to make is the bottom arm is not as important as you think it is. It's a guide. If you had the choice between taking a test and one test was worth 90% of your grade and the other test was only worth 10%, what one would you do? 90%, right? Makes more sense. So when I find people focusing way too much on the bottom arm, it drives me kind of bonkers because the top arm is way more important than the bottom arm. With that said, with what all these bottom arms have in common is they all create a giant stretch in the chest. I've posted videos of guys going over bars with just one arm, they don't even have a left arm. That just shows how important the bottom arm really is. Because a massive stretch is the power. It's the energy you're putting into the pole vault system. And once again, the bottom arm only directs the energy and helps with body positions at the takeoff. The sport is really, 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 really easy. <laughs> I kind of laugh when I say that, but when you break it down all the way to its core, it's about energy. Nine times out of 10, whoever can produce the most energy jumps the highest. <laughs> It's a really long way of saying start focusing on the top arm and the runway stuff, guys, because that's where the energy comes from. Hajime!